Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Brennan Dorman MMA channel. This week, we shall be discussing Mr. Aljo, aka Aljamain Sterling, and uh, I wanted to cover his knee bar after I covered Zabit's for, I would assume, obvious reasons, but really just his groundwork, his passing, etc., etc. Real quick, I have to cover this. You can make of this a, kind of what you will, but this is where things are going. And this may explain press conferences and no shows, etc., etc. I'll explain on the Obviously Fight Talk podcast. Which, by the way, if you have not subscribed, you need to. I have a podcast. I'm on there every week. So people that wanted voiceovers, I didn't do them in time, etc., etc. I'm there. Link will be in description. So, anywho, back to people that had to work to get where they are. How did they get to the ground, which is going to be the focus of this study? Firstly, Aljo here separates the hands, and he's going to turn left into him. And it's going to it's going to kind of convert to a high C attempt. He's going to free up his elbow and use his shoulder. It's kind of a fulcrum in between. Flares out the freed arm to the cage for like leverage to push back on him and to control the arm. So it's defense in two ways: one to defend strikes, and the other to defend from a takedown. So he blocks that knee there. Nicely with his long arms here. He extends Beautifully pivots his feet back out and the long reach allows for that tie plumb and then a proper drop step into a knee Very classic Muay Thai and that landed nice Which what I want you to see here and this is just a, a testament to his reflexes a beautiful slip afterward boom right under that nice little switch stance again um, But I want you to see the whole thing in full time. So here it is fast time boom and there's a lot behind that and so it goes fast. He stays long. What did he do there? Roger that. So post exchange stance switch stays long to evade and counter here. He kind of did punch him pretty much in the chest which is the southpaw staying along with that leading right probe. A little duck under there on the strike. And here he's going to go for like a rear waist drag where his hands are clasped. And Cody attempts like a Gramby roll to get out, but he's going to block it. Watch this. So as he's going to the ground, there's the attempted Gramby roll and a stop. The reason that stopped, he counters it with the leg hook. Two leg hooks, in fact. Um, and I, I kind of use little arrows to focus on him. So the elbow's framed, and he's also countering with the knee. And he's going to do a pass here similar to something like a Craig Jones would do if you watch the left leg. You will see it kind of circle around clockwise in order to better position himself and then he can kind of posture up to pass if you will posture to pass as some would say so he's going to kind of drop his hip weight and there he is dropping literally backward so it's a, it's like a leg drag pass a little bit different because he started it from the crouch not not from the standing position but here it is all the way through beautiful and now you'll see the right arm is weaved through to create like an over under and a switch hip pass from like a loose half right into side control right here the head is high and that arm you kind of look down to see it and you'll see that it's now through so he watches his hip you, you got to watch his hips as he hops over the motion is kind of similar to like a switch kick where where your hips are going to switch see that right there beautiful and his long limbs certainly aid within the process of course and here it is all the way through beautiful stuff nice and fast too and if you can see his his hand right there I kind of put a little green and white arrow to it by the way this is colorful for a reason you'll see at the very end but you can see Aljo kind of working from the cradle there so from this cradle position with that hand under the cradle obviously would be in the left hand over the head but he's going to use that to control the hips elbow frame here and from there you have options now a lot of times people would try to like slide into neon belly and shrug up but instead he brings him toward himself and as he turns in aljo times a wonderful step over pass right into full mount and immediately starts crossing his feet underneath right there they're weaved though so the, the hop over pass from that body lock position he makes it so that he attempted to kind of roll into aljo rather and he creates this this wonderful sort of balanced weaving of his legs ground striking from the top and see how he's, he's just balanced and moving again with the arrows triple h all in effect and that's always head hips and hooks and if you can see there they're all controlled there again there he's going for the neck and he does that quite a few times although never fully uh, commits to a rear naked choke but it's it's useful as you'll see before now he's going to obfuscate vision there with his head 
in order to rain down some strikes. Again, the ground striking is nice. That was more of a knee, neon belly slide over to bass. And his hips are gonna go loose here to transition to the back mount. So sometimes when you pinch your knees together and someone tries to roll out, you've gotta keep them loose in case they kinda buck, to, buck up to spin up, if you will. And he's gotta do this in order to flatten them out. So he posts his hands, he goes really high here and pushes down. That way he can push his legs on hips. And you'll watch his arms here as they serve as like two separate serpents. Like one's a striker, one's a one's a weaving constrictor. It's almost rattlesnake versus python, if that makes sense. And uh, if not, buy a book on reptiles, please. Anyway, I, he, so here he just and he's gonna. This is the starts of the starting of the threats of the rear naked choke into a WTF, as you'll see right there. And this isn't just interesting, but it's it's pretty innovative and effective. Uh, this is an attempted full Nelson from from back mount, but it's it really serves even though he doesn't get the submission. It's a wonderful way to uh, to re flatten someone out after they've postured like that. So if he if he were to get a tap, the knees would have been they would need to be a little bit closer together and a little bit higher. That way, Aljo could posture using his knees as kind of the kind of the floor fulcrum, for a lack of a better term for it. Uh, he's not tapping because his arms just they're, they're not close enough together and they're not going high up enough toward his own like bottom of his spine. But Aljo's still cognizant, striking to weaken him up. Intelligent adjustment made here to use the one hand to keep both arms kind of trapped as his chest is the uh, the in between the two. He's raining down on the body and the head. I thought it was going to be kind of over there from strikes, but he did a good job protecting your neck. And uh, Aljo did as well, though. He's just he's rolling with the punches on the ground. For, again lack of a better saying so is it your legs or your neck right because not normally something to watch out for here and you'll see he's looking he's gonna overhook on the legs so that he can't posture the same this time and you can see him thinking as to slow down in real time not so much but this is kind of the so it begins moment and there's mr. Kevin McDonald looking on my my homie so slowed down to halftime you can see it was it was that RNC faint that cleared the lane for what he calls the funk strudel solo of stretch, which is hilarious, aka a, it's just a knee bar from back mount. Uh, Jansport indeed, if you, if you know what that means, then you've been following Aljo for a while. So there's the arm through, grab, nice, brilliant use of length, and that's a feint. I mean, it's not the same as a jab feint, but it's a feint nevertheless. There are feints in grappling at times. And they're lit afterwards I got a better angle of it as well. So he's already going to tap there when he you know, by the time it sort of collapsed. One of the common questions if there was one was was the why there. And of course Aljo right after the tap releases, gets up, embraces, make sure the guy's okay, he's all class. Um one of few have left, it seems nowadays. So I've had quite a few inquiries, like I said, about the uh, injury because his beats didn't seem the same, although it looked worse. And it's tough to see 100%, especially from like this angle, but there's there's one that I feel like catches it pretty well. So all of his weight, Aljo's weight anyway, it's kind of hipped. And I put that in quotes because I don't know if you've ever heard that as a term, but it, it's into clasped hands. So the only thing that's got any um, non-leverage, if you will, the only thing that's not riding on the opponent was his head there. So from this angle, I think, and you've seen, you saw it kind of, Similarly before this this angle. It's, it's not this one. That's the absolute best But you can see the the motion of things if you will so this goes like to, to the right of screen towards the ref and If you see the hips of Aljo, they kind of pull into his own hands This is probably the best angle and or example of it um, Again, it's you got to watch that right arm. He's through a few strikes now he's controlling the back of the hamstring and when he goes up and wings out that's the feint so the elbows out and, and, and flared as though he's either going to attack the neck throw a punch one of the two but instead reaches all the way down and that requires seriously long arms especially at 135 gets and he gets the foot but if it's heel spun which means your heel spins in a direction that your knee is not then things can pop mcls acls and as it closes in there the view of things anyway closing in you can you can certainly see it and I'd be proud if I was part of the team as well so thanks for watching everybody um let me know what you think in the description of course what's next for Aljo what you think of that knee bar from the funk master etc etc I'm a big fan these are uh this is extended fam and of course I'll leave links to things in the description that I mentioned prior 
And other than that, I thank you for watching. And please hit that bell, subscribe, like, do all the happy horse shit. And, um, keep time.